also which one to use for your guitar cabinet which are the differences between these different kind of microphone. So you have a great guitar, you have an arsenal of cabinet amplifiers, but now it's time to record your guitar. So which one of these different kind of microphones you will use for your guitar recording and where to place in your guitar cabinet? Let's find out together. Hi guys, I'm Mystics Audio Video Production and today I'm gonna show you uh, some of my knowledge on how to mic your uh, guitar cabinet. So in this video I talk only about real recording, so I will not go into digital, into uh, pedal board or modeler, but only with real gear. So a guitar cabinet and a guitar amplifier and of course your guitar. To record with old style but in my opinion the best style to record a guitar well you need a microphone but which microphone is best for your guitar recording well the real answer is it depends first of all let's introduce the three main category of microphone that you can have in the market you can find the dynamic microphone is the sure sm57 and is the the most famous microphone for a guitar cabinet. It's really, really cheap, but the tone is balanced enough only with this microphone. So this is a dynamic microphone. And as you can see, it's really, really tiny. Then you have a condenser microphone where the difference is, is basically in the construction. Usually you will see condenser microphone like this one and condenser microphone are the most sensitive so basically in your room if you don't have treated room when you use microphone like this for vocals for example you will listen also the reverberation of your room think that with dynamic is difficult to listen the room because dynamic microphones are the microphones less sensitive so you need usually more power to drive dynamic microphone and usually you have really low output with dynamic microphone with condenser microphone you have high output but you need the 48 volts so the so-called phantom power okay so these are the main differences and the differences also in the capsule are that with the dynamic microphone of course you have to see the frequency response per each of microphone that you are choosing so you are um, looking for but generally the dynamic microphone has more bass because the capsule emphasize the proximity effect so as soon as you move the microphone close your mouth or your guitar cabinet you have proximity effect things that with this condenser microphone you have less but of course you have a proximity effect even if you talk really really close to the microphone so the condenser microphone overall is more balanced but has just a bit more bass and compared to the dynamic microphone the dynamic microphone is tighter compared to the condenser microphone now let's talk about the third category which is the ribbon microphone you have also the tube microphone but is a subcategory of the condenser microphone so this is the ribbon microphone and the ribbon microphone has a really huge difference in sound compared to the other two categories the ribbon microphone generally sounds really really dark so it's really dark the sound and you need a lot of power for a ribbon microphone this is in general but i'm not talking about specific microphone in general is like this so you need a lot of power so pay attention of your audio interface because you have to drive the capsule with really lot of uh, preamp gain and the sounds will be very dark so generally i'll use the ribbon microphone in the center of the cone because in the center of the cone you will have brighter sound okay so keep in mind this of course now let's talk about the sound and i'll show you how these three different category microphone will sound of course this will not be exactly the same sound of each kind of condenser or ribbon or dynamic microphone that you will find on the market but generally these are the 
specification of these three kind of microphones. So let's say you are listening a great tone in your room, in your ambience, okay? Maybe in your stage room, you are playing and the tone is really, really great. But that tone is not the tone that you will record with your interface or maybe if you want to record in your studio or maybe if you want to let it listen to the audience in your live situation so pay attention you need to place the microphone very close to the speaker and the sound will be completely different uh, compared to what you listen in the room okay let's now listen the differences between these three different microphone placed in the center of the cone and very very close to the cone so with really tight pushed guitar tone let's listen So as you listen, there are a lot of differences uh, between these three different microphones. For example, the dynamic microphone, the Shure SM57, sounds really, really bright. And in my opinion, it's great, this sound, but I like to use this sound with another microphone. So to blend different kinds of microphones, because in my opinion, there are too much uh, high tones and less bass or mid tones the most balanced tone is with the this is the mini k47 by roswell is a great condenser microphone and this is in my opinion the most balanced in that position so you have a lot of bright tone but you have also the tight response of the bass tone while with the is electronics uh, r1 this is this continued microphone it's an amazing microphone sounds very very similar to the royal labs uh, r121 i guess and sounds really really dark but i love the sound of this uh, microphone because it's really 
aggressive, really punchy. And generally it sounds of Ribbon microphone in metal tone sounds really great. So let's listen to the sound on the cone position. So basically it's in the middle between the center and the edge of the cone, in the middle. Let's listen to the differences. focus on the behavior of these three different kind of capsule so dynamic capsule a condenser capsule and ribbon capsule moving the microphone from the center to the edge of the cone and again from the edge to the center of the cone i use of course a motorized slider to make these tests so i can play and move the microphone the three different microphones let's listen how this sound switch from one position to the other okay let's listen <laughs>
Now listen how blending the microphone will sound your guitar. So maybe you use, for example, the dynamic microphone really bright in the center and maybe the condenser microphone just a bit uh, toward the edge. Or for example, the bright microphone not using the high frequencies of the dynamic microphone really in the center but moving towards uh, the edge and using for example the ribbon microphone in the center to capture a balanced sound. Let's listen some differences. <laughs>
Okay, guys, I hope this video was very helpful for you to understand the different sounds of different capsule of microphone for your guitar cabinet. Of course, you have to experiment with different kinds of microphone. It's better maybe to go in a studio to play some microphone and try or maybe to go to uh, an instrument shop to try different microphones with different cabinet before make a purchase for your different tones because of course guitar tones are subjective and generally this is my opinion so this video is for general uh, purposes for general sound for rock and metal sound with these three different uh, microphone. Let me do some marketing. So these three different microphones and lots of other different microphones, I made some impulse responses with also my cabinet and David Laboga cabinet. So you can find in the description also lot of impulse responses, all high quality drag and drop in your modeler or in your torpedo or in your dough and you are good to go with a great rock and metal tones. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.